Hi guys and welcome back. So choose your effective but fun workout. So I'll be showing you 10 physical activities that are effective and fun. So losing weight and getting in shape are worthy goals, but you may find that you are a little confused as to what physical activity will actually work well for you and your goals. Remember, it's very important to stretch your muscles both before and after your physical activity to maintain your flexibility and ward off injury. So before we proceed to our topic, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you so much. Let's go ahead. Number one, walking. Walking is an ideal low impact activity for someone who is getting started with fitness and learning their capabilities. Walking outside provides visual stimulation and typically it burns more calories than walking on a treadmill. Number two, jogging. Although the primary muscles worked while jogging are the same as in walking, Jogging helps more burn more calories in the same interval of time. It is also a great activity for people who want to incorporate more cardio activity in their workout. However, it is worth noting that unless done with care, jogging will take its toll on the feet and knee joints. When jogging, always wear proper shoes and pay attention to any twinges of pain or post-workout soreness. Number 3. Hiking Hiking takes workout outdoors and it can encourage you to adventure into some challenging areas. The best hike in terms of workout are those that cover uneven territory and inclines. Hiking provides with many health benefits, including lowering your risk of heart disease, strengthening of your core, and improving your mood. Number four, bicycling. If you maintain your, po your posture, your abdominal and back muscles get a workout on a bicycle as well. Bicycling also works shoulder and arm muscles. Bicycling is an excellent exercise that is lower in impact and body cost than running. It's much easier on your legs, ankles, knees, and feet. You can also use a stationary bicycle. Number five, swimming. Swimming is an excellent full body workout. It works well to relieve pressure on the joints. Different strokes work on different muscle groups, so choose strokes that work well for your purposes. The freestyle is always a good basic swimming stroke for general health. Number six, yoga. Different types of yoga burn different amounts of calories. Through the use of gentle stretching yoga, also known as yatha yoga, you can burn almost up to 100 calories for 30 minutes. This is an excellent way to get your day started, or you can use it as a warm-up for other exercises. Yoga not only increases your flexibility and strengthens the body, it may help reduce stress, improve sleep, and improve your overall health. Number seven, aerobics. Aerobics is an excellent choice for heart, health, and weight loss, but do be aware that unless the class or exercises are listed as low impact, they can be hard on the joints. If you have knee issues, you, you should also make sure to skip step aerobics and instead opt for low impact aerobics or water aerobics. Number eight, dancing. Dancing when done in a consistent and aerobic manner is a great choice for burning calories. However, like all other cardio exercises, it will reduce fat without necessarily growing muscle. When dancing, choose clothes that move well but that but to conform to the body for the best results. Number 9. Weight lifting. Though weightlifting does burn calories, it is typically not used to lose weight. Instead, it is designed to strengthen and grow muscles, and as such, the calories offloaded are less than you might think they are. Weightlifting trends to target the legs, arms, add core muscles, but 
there are exercises that are designed to address every muscle group. Number 10, tennis. Tennis is an excellent cardiovascular exercise that involves the entire body. It does have the issue of using repetitive motions. So if you have issues with repetitive stress injuries, you should discuss it with your doctor before you jump in. Besides physical benefits of playing tennis, there are numerous other reasons to choose this activity. It helps you learn to compete one-on-one, -on -one, make strategies, deal with difficult situations, manage stress, accept responsibility. So, which of these activities are fun for you? Mm, maybe I'll choose swimming. Or maybe running. Well, I don't know. It depends. But I think all of them are great. Maybe I can try all of them. Well, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Thank you. And stay safe. And um, I'll see you on to the next one.